Hi, I'm Nikki, the Obsessive Bookseller. Welcome to my channel, and welcome to this episode of my Incomplete Series Challenge. My voting patrons chose this as the focus for this quarter, and I've been having a lot of fun with it. I've been drawing my titles randomly from a bucket and making myself read whatever comes out. The books I've chosen up to this point have not been great, with the sole exception of my most recent read, Magic Claims by Alona Andrews. I was so excited to get this title. I, I needed a guaranteed good read out of this project. This is the latest book in the Kate Daniels Wilmington years, published just a few months ago. It's not quite a full-length book, but every page was gold, so it doesn't really matter. If you're not familiar with Alona Andrews' works, they're a husband and wife writing team. They're among my all-time favorites. I love how they approach urban fantasy. I, they have like the masculine and feminine perspective that kind of balances out their works and makes them accessible to a lot more people than, say, like Kelly Armstrong. The original Kate Daniels series ended with Magic Triumphs, really good capstone to the series, and these are kind of the after years. Like, what happens after the conflict ends? Like, where do they go next? And I thought these were kind of going to be kind of like bubblegum reads where you don't really get a lot of substance because the main conflict is over. And if you do have a new conflict, it's contrived and it just doesn't feel very satisfying. That's kind of how it was in the first book of the Wilmington years. Just like take a deep breath and let's do something else for a while. Not that it wasn't written well, it was still a really excellent story. But what struck me about this one is that it finally pulled back in things from the original series and just gave, gave the situation so much depth. Like they're trying to figure out what to do next and the direction it's heading is so highly appealing to me. Hopefully I can describe this well, but it's not as if the characters are just taking the story in whatever direction floats their fancy. Because they're just having fun. They're not writing for a publishing house anymore. They're self-producing these. Instead, they are truly writing on behalf of the character with their core values in mind and taking the story in the direction that the characters would likely choose for themselves as opposed to just those whims. I think it's brilliant. I, I looked on the horizon and there's not another Kate Daniels book for a while, for which I'm a little anxious about. But you better believe when the next one comes out that I'm not going to need an incomplete series challenge to make me get around to it. Like, it's going to be picked up immediately. So as far as my rating goes, I think I'm coming in at a 4 out of 5 stars. This isn't the strongest that I've read from them, but it was still a delightful read. And it had, like, one 5 star moment in there when it comes to character progression. It was really action-packed, it had a bit of dry humor, and just a really fun, magical concept. I have a few recommends for books similar to the one I just read. The tone of the Kate Daniels reminds me a lot of the Sarantha Jack series by Anna Guire. This is Grim Space, it's the first book. I love this series. I love the creature creation, the alien companions, the main character. It had a very urban fantasy feel, but in a sci-fi setting. To date, between this one and the Perdition spin-off. It's the only one that's gotten me as excited as the Kate Daniels stuff. So if you haven't tried this one yet, I love it. Interestingly enough, a lot of the components in Magic Claims were similar to The Emperor's Blades, only this one is a far more like robust fantasy story. So if you like the jungle atmosphere, if you like the battle sequences, if you like the politics, all of those things, but one of like amped up like times five, then you have this book here. I really love this one. And then finally, character, conflict, villain, all things remind me of The Southern Fire by Juliet McKenna, the Aldebrecht and Compass series. I've only read the first book, but reading Magic Claims made me remember that I need to get back to this series because there were a lot of cool elements in it. And if you like the overall vibe of the Wilmington years, then I think you'll really enjoy this series. It's a lot more slowly paced and it does not have a paranormal aspect, but yeah, it's a good comparison in my mind. So this is the point where I would be drawing another title, but if you might remember from the last episode, I had drawn Children of Memory by Adrian Tchaikovsky. Here it is. But I wanted to wait for my patron Dave because we were going to buddy read this one. So this will be the next one on the docket. And after we finish it, I'll do another update and we'll draw a title then. I'm a little nervous about this one. I've heard a lot of kind of meh reviews on it. Like they say, oh, the first half is great. The second half is convoluted and weird and hard to follow and you're probably not going to like it. Consider myself braced. I found the second book hard to follow in the second half as well. So 
Thanks for watching and I hope to catch you on the next one. Bye.